Hi everyone, Gina Aliotti here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about my muscle connection. So we've talked about what are the best workouts for me, how do I know what workout is best for my body, all of these questions come up. And like I said, my goal is to simplify fitness, to simplify things so that this is one thing that you just don't have to worry about. We have other, too many other worries, right? This is one thing I want you to not have to worry about. So let's just simplify things. I wanna share with you guys this idea of mind-muscle connection. So the best workout for you is the one that you're gonna show up for, okay? So whether that be yoga, whether that be a HIIT workout, whether that be circuit training, whatever it is, the one that you're gonna show up for, that is your favorite best workout. That's what's gonna work, okay? So I want you to show up. I want you to be excited about your workouts. Now with that being said, no matter what workout you're showing up for, there's this idea of mind-muscle connection, and this is how you get away with doing less. So with my whole less is more philosophy, I truly don't do a lot, but what I do, I have that true mind-muscle connection, which allows your body to respond, allows the little bit of time, however much time you have, to be that much more effective when you're able to really tap into your mind and focus on that connection. So let's talk about that for a minute. Mind-muscle connection. Now, when you go to the gym or you go to your garage gym, or you go to the pool, or you go to a spin class, you can either do a workout or you can do a workout. There's two different things. You can either show up and just be like, I'm here, I'm getting it done, or you can show up and be fully intentional and have that focus. I want you guys to have that focus. I want you guys to have that mental focus, that mind muscle connection where you're not only connecting with the body part that you're working, but you're removing anything else that's on your mind but that body part you're working. You're not thinking about what you did yesterday, what you have to do tomorrow, what you didn't do yesterday, what you should do tomorrow, but you're not sure if you're gonna, how you're gonna get it done. All that external noise, that's not the focus. The focus is exactly what you're doing, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is be 100% mindful and in the moment be present with what you're doing. Because if you have other things on your mind, your body and your mind is thinking about all those other things and you need to preserve that energy for your workouts, for what you're doing, okay? So that's the first thing. So you need to mentally be in the game. The second thing that you need to do is when you're doing an exercise, so let's just take a bicep curl as an example. This would be mindlessly working out. You're just kind of like, do to do, you're kind of swinging, this is fun, I'm here, I showed up, I'm making it happen, Gina be so proud, no. Okay, first of all, form was completely off. Second of all, I can do this all day long and I'm technically doing a bicep curl, but am I really doing a bicep curl? Am I really fully engaged with that curl? No, right? How can you be when you're just kind of swinging, having fun, like, it's kind of nice, kind of feel like I'm dancing, but it's not being mindful. So mind-muscle connection is when mind is in what we're doing. We're working the bicep. So my mind is in that bicep and only the bicep. As I curl up, I'm feeling everything firing off in that bicep. Now, if you have this true connection, you don't need a lot of weight. You don't even need weight at all. You can do mind-muscle connection right here. You see that bicep, how it's flexing and how you're seeing it engage and fire off? That is mind-muscle connection. That is how we get away with using less weight. So you're connecting here and this is how you're making every single rep count. Every curl, every rep is right here in that muscle that we're working. If you carry that on into every exercise that you do, even if you're just simply walking, every walk, every step, you're squeezing those glutes, you're holding in the lower body. Your walk, your five minute walk that you do, because you're just getting started and you're like, I'm showing up, I'm making this happen one block around, one time around the block. You're just either strolling like this or you're walking. How do you want to walk? If you only have five minutes, I want you to make those five minutes effective. If you only have one, one minute, one minute doing it with my muscle connection is gonna be way more effective than doing 30 minutes of just mindless working out. So that is how we get away with less is more. Okay, you guys? So if you have any questions, let me know, but just try this out. Like, just do this right now. Like after this video, maybe just be like, okay, I'm gonna test this out. Like I'm gonna do a bicep curl. Okay, I get it, I get it. Now, hold in the lower abs, put that mind in that bicep and curl. Feel the difference in every single exercise that I do, I'm connected mentally to the muscle. And that is how 
you get away with less is more. So you don't have to kill yourself. You don't even have to go to a gym. You don't even need weight, right? If you can connect with the muscle, you can make massive changes to your body. So it doesn't matter what workout you're doing, even if you're doing yoga, everything's connected. Everything's mindfully engaged. I want you to try that out. And I want you to tell me what you think. You will completely change your training, change your mindset, and change your body if you incorporate this mind to muscle, mindful training into your routine. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time.